What's going on guys? We are back with another video today. Hopefully the audio is going to be decent. Super windy out today, right? We all got to deal with these super windy days. It's 91 degrees out and I'm going to get a tan today. Mitchell's behind the camera. He's also going to get a tan today and uh, super windy out. And we're kind of wondering what to film today's video on. And one thing we always get asked a lot of questions about is boat control. Not a better day to film a boat control video than in this huge wind. Um, it's not, we're not on a massive lake, we're on like a three, 4,000 acre lake, but it's super gusty. I mean, it's like sustained 25, 30 all day long. And uh, we're gonna talk about a lot of boat control stuff. My phone's going off right now. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about. How you can set up on these fish and fish very effectively um, in a big wind like this. And we're gonna be doing slip hours today, which can be a very difficult thing to fish in the wind, but a very effective way to fish in the wind because when you're fishing a slip bobber in big waves, and that slip bobber in a leech is bouncing up and down, incredibly effective way to get bites. So stay tuned, we're gonna go find some fish, we're gonna spot lock down on them and give you guys a whole bunch of boat control tips, how I spot lock in big wind, and how I position on those fish to catch a lot more walleye. So hopefully we get them, stay tuned, enjoy. Look up. Fish on. Out here in the big wind today, and we are catching fish. Look at this one, it's a nice walleye. Middle of the day, super sunny out. It's actually 91 degrees out today. And uh, we're getting a tan and catching some walleyes. Not a giant one here, but a nice fish on the jig and the leech. When you are fishing in this much wind, boat positioning, boat control, all extremely important. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. You know, it's not a big one there. I'll let that guy go quick. But uh, you know, everything's more difficult when you get a big wind like this. And setting up on these fish correctly and watching that side edge and kind of help you out is absolutely the key to success on a lot of these days where boat positioning, boat control are much more challenging. So we're gonna get into a whole bunch of that stuff, um, how I set up and how I use the tools I have to catch fish in tough boat control days like this. Talk loud. I got a fish. Stop. Got a fish on. It is so windy out here that it's not even enjoyable. Even though it's 90 <laughs> degrees. More of a day for the sandbar. Eh? We're getting a tan. So. Look at this little, little chunky monkey. About the same size. Oh. I don't know what happened. I was on this lake this morning. Caught a ton of really nice fish and something with this massive wind, crazy hot out. Now we're catching all like 15, 16 inches. All right, so how do you position your boat in wind to catch more fish? That is, you know, first of all, why is that important? Well, in a big wind like this, what's gonna happen is it's incredibly difficult to fish sideways, right? Whether you're really jig fishing, whether you're fishing bobbers, kind of no matter what you're doing, number one, incredibly hard to feel, and your bait moves through that zone so fast because your bait catches, or your line catches so much wind, and it just makes it incredibly difficult. Keep a tight line, feel bites, fish good. So we're cruising around looking for fish right now, and the wind's pounding me from this direction. Straight south wind today. And uh, we're cruising fish. We're kind of running perpendicular to the wind. And we're looking at a weed edge right here. And I'm, we're hopefully going to see a big pot of walleyes at any second. All right, so we're just starting to get into the weeds. And here's our fish off the right. I'll go ahead and take a screenshot for you guys so you can see them. So those fish are about 50 feet off my right side downwind of me. So I, t I dropped a waypoint on those fish on side imaging, right? So I kind of know about where they are. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come way downwind of those fish, right? If I were to spot lock right when I saw those fish, what's gonna happen is my boat's gonna swing all over the place till I'm spot lock, and uh, those fish are gonna kind of end up, it's kind of cockeyed to me in the back, and we do not want that. It's a very difficult way to fish in a big wind, so. Now I'm driving way downwind. I'm probably 100 feet away from those fish over here. Now what I'm gonna do is my hummingbird graph gives me um, like a course line, right, or a heading line. So I'm gonna line that up once I'm perfectly downwind of those fish with that waypoint and I'm gonna start driving right at it, which I am right now. Bow straight into the wind. We're headed right at this waypoint. Now, what I wanna see as I hit this waypoint is I wanna see these fish very close to me side to side on side imaging. And I can also probably see them on sonar because we're in a little bit deeper water. I'm going right over the top of these fish. And any second now. All right, so here's our fish. They're very close to us. They're about five feet off the right side. Now, 
The other thing about Hummingbird, I'm gonna kinda go neutral for a second, is it gives you uh, basically a scale. And most of the time I'll set this at about 50 feet and I'll cruise about, you know, pretty much that, that same 50 foot square ahead of those fish into the wind. And here's the important part when you're using spot lock. I don't want to spot lock when my boat's moving. So I'm gonna quick put it in neutral, kind of pump it in reverse for a second. My boat is totally spelled out. Now I'm gonna hit spot lock. Now what happens is those fish are straight backwards from me and I can fish slip bobbers, I can jig fish even in this big wind very effectively. You know, it's, t it's a total game changer on a day like this. If you try to set up around those fish and cast to them versus knowing right where they are and setting up perfectly upwind of them, you're gonna be a million times more successful. So we're gonna turn the motor off, throw some bobbers back, catch some walleyes. Hooked up, we got a fish on. Absolutely crazy wind out here today. Two fish on. Isn't even a big lake. I think that might be a weed on that one. And uh, look at that, a nice little eater walleye. Right back in the weeds. Fishing these real small pods in the mega blow. There's about a 15 incher. Your cookie cutter eater sized fish. We're on them. Oh, we are now on them, boys. Better fish, maybe? Is better this, fish, this one, maybe? This feels a little better, yeah. I think the wind died down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Nice fish. She's a but we are catching them. Look how clear this water is. But some days, just catching them is a win. I mean, if you're out here to catch fish to eat, you know, we'd be, uh, Heading back to the ranch, or the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> the launch. Just a struggle. All right. Be a nice... Oh, that was a nice eater. All right, guys, so we're spot locked, about ready to fish these fish. Now, on a lot of big lakes, like it's manageable out here, obviously. Um, it's just super gusty out, but you know, there's a lot of lakes if you're dealing with big water where you know you might have huge waves, and that wind definitely takes a troll on your trolling a toll on your trolling motor fishing all day long. And uh, there's a few things I use, especially on some bigger systems like Mille Lacs or Green Bay or stuff like that, Lake Superior, where I'm trying to spot lock in big wind and uh, use my trolling motor all day long. Spot lock's an amazing feature if you're not familiar with it. It basically locks you in a position with your trolling motor and it'll just hold you there, right? And uh, it, it obviously has to work a lot harder in the wind. So there's a couple of things I do. Number one, if you don't have a kicker, one thing I'll do is almost every outboard engine now um, it comes with an RPM adjuster and what I'll do, once my motor's on, I'm in neutral right now, what I'll do is I'll just put it in gear and I'm gonna go down as far as I can go on my RPM adjuster. So I'm barely kicking out any RPMs right now. Now, all my trolling motor's basically doing right now is keeping me side to side, right? My trolling motor's, um, it'll, and you know you're kind of at the right RPM when your trolling motor head will go like this and then it'll go from that side to this side and it's not spending a whole lot of time pointing forwards, right? Because it doesn't need any thrust to keep you um, in position. All that trolling motor head's doing is keeping you side to side so you're not blowing sideways. If you have a kicker, you could do the same thing with your kicker. A lot of times I'll trim my kicker down, I'll fire it up, and basically all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna keep giving the kicker throttle until the head of my trolling motor is not pointing straight a whole lot. And what it's gonna keep doing, it's gonna go like this, and it's gonna go like that, and it's gonna keep you perfectly straight. And another big key is you can see, we're in a big wind right now, and you'll see what this happens when I dial it in correctly here. The speed on my trolling motor remote is gonna be like three or four, or very low even in this big wind, right? And that's because it's not using a lot of thrust to keep you in place. It's using a lot of thrust to keep that bow from shimmying. So in a big wind, these are some kind of tips that I use a lot to keep that spot lock uh, working for you all day long and hold you right above those fish. Rolling. All right, we are hooked up on another one. We kind of shimmied sideways a little bit so we could get this pot of fish straight behind us, which is obviously extremely important when it's this windy out. Not a big one. Oh, look at that. Just giving her. Just giving her. Perfect little eaters. Not big fish, but 
today, this afternoon has been challenging. Like I said, we just clocked the really nice fish this morning. Wind picked up, got crazy big, and uh, I think we're probably still around them. They're probably just not quite eating the same. Kind of your cookie cutter 16 inch table fair walleye right there. We'll let them go. Oh, 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 let them go right on the Mitchell. All right, see you later, little buddy. All right, guys, well, that, holy cow, I am white. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is gonna do it for today. Just a quick little wind video. Um, on bolt control, how I like to position. Obviously, all these things are a lot easier when it's calm out. Um, we we're kind of wondering what to film a video on today and with how windy it is and the fact that it's just a killer slip bobber bite right now, we kind of wanted to showcase the bolt control thing. But hopefully this video is beneficial for you guys and uh, we're gonna go probably fun fish or maybe film something else, who knows. But anything to say? Nope, just keep watching. Keep watching. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys asking questions. And uh, drop some comments below on what you guys want to see on this week's Tom Talks. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to continuing that string of videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more.